Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadow of War. Alright, when we left off, we were just getting into, well, we finished dealing with Gorgoroth's fortress, and now we're going to get into the other things going on around Gorgoroth, which was Karnan's Bane. Tal Goroth rises from its pit in Gorgoroth. It cannot be allowed to reach the surface, so... We're going to go after it. And kill him. Hopefully. Here's hoping we can. <laughs> the XP that we get from it is massive. So it's going to be tough. I can just feel it. <laughs> and if it's at this point, we're already at like 51 in terms of level. We'll probably be able to do it. This guy, we've seen him before. We call you to the shallows. Rise and join our glory. Rise and join the shadows army. The shadows. Rise. 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 This guy is directly chosen by the Nazgul. Look to the young earth. They are summoning death. Or at least they're trying. But it will be death for all. Including them, I'm willing to bet. We saw him in the invasion at... These sorcerers give me the creeps. I swear we saw him at the invasion of Minas Ethel, when it then became Minas Morgul. I, I can't be imagining that, can I? There's, there's no way I can be. Okay. Up we go. Gotta defeat the Acolytes and the Captain himself. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. What the fuck happened? I thought that, that would take me farther distance than that. That did not do anything of the sort. The fuck happened? Where am I? Jeez. Okay. Okay. There we go. Up we go, maybe. There we go. Alright, well. Apparently one of the Acolytes are over here. Just off them, I guess. Oh. Oh, you're dressed up. Oh, you're dressed up in armor. That's something. Can we get a better look at him? Yes. Zog the in the internal? <laughs> what? What was my mouth about to say there? The eternal, not internal. That would be weird and gross. Okay. Um, he has a fear of burning, and he's also flammable. He's dazed by stealth and also sickly. A lot of weaknesses I can exploit. He's also unbreakable, so I'm going to have to kill him. Luckily, apparently for this week... Uh, if you kill a captain while he's dazed and kill two of them, you get a chest. So, stands to reason, I can use this to get that farther forward. Here's hoping, anyway. Alright. Uh, well, since he's dazed by stealth, I might as well use that to my advantage. For the love of God, don't launch me into the fucking pit again. God. Fucking cock-a-doodle. Shrock. All right. Well, since I'm already here, might as well use the depths to my advantage. To sneak up on the unsuspecting. Hi there. You're dead now. Very dead. <laughs> oh, I could have just done this. And you're now dead. Now, that's some of them anyway. Is there a fourth that I missed? Ah, there was. Okay, so. There's that dealt with. And you're gone. Alright, let's grab that. Alright, so. I'm gonna go around the fucking thing. Since it's the game seems intent on throwing me into the fucking pit. 
Alright, so. Let's try it from an approach. Fuck. Never mind. God damn it. Always gotta be something stupid. Let them pass. Fucking assholes. Always something. Always something. Alright. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Gonna do a bit of death. Hello. <laughs> hey, you're dazed by stealth. You know what? Now you're gonna get hit by that. I'm gonna do one of these. Daze you by flame. And then kill you again? No? What? What's wrong with your eye there, man? I think he was supposed to say something, and he didn't say it. <laughs> Did you throw out your vocal cords last time? What? Swallow the darkness. That's the only thing you managed to say? Okay, well... Shit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well... Leap into the pit. Great. Okay. This is not what I want. Damn it. Fuck. Away I go! Please tell me something that this game did not tell me about the story that's supposed to be happening here. I assume he was supposed to say something like, Oh, it's already started. You cannot stop the rising of Targoroth. And looks like, yeah, I'm probably right on that. Fools. No one can tame a Balrog. They can try. Or maybe he's wrong and they can? Nope. Nope, he's right. I think they're starting to realize they were doing a fool's errand. And wow. His foe is beyond us, Kilibrimbo. Not with the spirit of Kanan at our side. Oh, hey. Woken by the thring, flames burn us. You woke him. Hello. You woke him. Yeah, we did. But, uh, now we're gonna try and put him back to sleep. Maybe. There's hoping. Squeaky chair. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Are we just gonna sit here and watch then? No. Firing it to its back, huh? Right here. Like that. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Ah, oh, shit. Open it up. Open it up. Well, I didn't avoid getting hit by falling debris. That was not doable. Mainly because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Come on, guy. Whoa, geez. Oh, geez. Fire into the back. There we are. Oh. Come on, give me... Give me a moment. Give me a moment to hit the chest, man. Jeez. Because that's an obvious weak spot right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, so much for the avoiding getting hit by shit. Because they keep throwing shit at me. Umi Karnan Garan Bugazik. Bugazik? I don't fucking know. They don't have any voice acting for that bit. Proper voice acting. Okay, I guess I gotta... Yep. Jeez. There we go. Alright. Go away, or get away. Come on now. Oh, so now the game's getting serious. Oh, jeez. Mount Carnet. What? Alright. <laughs> I guess we're doing this now. Alright. Up we go. 
fucking hell, this is a hell of a fight. Also, really fucking weird when it comes to fights. Alright, up we go. I took a lot of damage. <laughs> because I couldn't avoid that fucking falling debris that easily. There you are. Oh, jeez. There we go. Ooh, ooh, good hits. Shod knock, huh? Whoop, nice try. Fucking quick time events. I can sometimes get them out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, guy. Oh, man. Fucking brawler style. Whoop, oh, jeez. I didn't expect that, honestly. How was I supposed to expect that? Whoop. That one I could expect. Okay. Damn, knock you around. Gotta love it. Whoop. Nice try. Caught that one this time. I learned that trick. You fuck. Man, this one's gonna take forever. Look at how little damage I'm eventually doing to him. Oh, and caught that. Wow, what what damage did I end up doing? There we go. Nice try. Whoop, okay. Oh, jeez. Yep. They're, they're managing to get some good hits in. I'll admit. They're doing a lot of good damage. Okay. Now I'm getting some hits in. Fuck you. Oh, no. Is that going to be good or bad? I'm not sure which. Hey. And. There we go. Some chest shots in. Ah, did that do it? Almost. Okay. Well, back to the fire wings again. Alright. Well. Karnan's little entity here is pretty damaged. Unless this is actually her. Which would be weird. Oh, weird transition. Buggy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This does not look good. This looks like it hurts. Oh. Oh. I'm hoping that's an entity of her then. Oh, boy. And he runs away. Great. No rest for you. No rest for we, deathless one. Okay, so, she's alive. All right, good. Fuck. She is truly a power to be reckoned with. Yes, she is. The spirit of Karnan has witnessed Middle-earth's devastation and its revival many times over. She was here before any of us, and she will be here long after we have perished. Yeah, I'd say. That is some serious power there. Wow. And we got to level up. As much as that means. Hey, Rich, 52. It will venture far beyond Mordor, to Rohan and Gondor. That cannot happen. Huh. So Zog is an entity in and of himself. Huh. An entity enough that he has his own appendix. Hmm. Curious. Most curious. Alright, well. I have a skill point that I'm not sure where to put because that's the point I'm at in the game. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Alright, well timed counters, replenish one elf shot. Uh, probably not gonna use it. But I mean. Then again, gaining the might from each counter is not actually as uh useful at this point in the game as I thought it would. Because it's it's really just a sliver. It's just like the smallest sliver. I don't think it'll kill me 
if I move it to something else. Instantly killing enemy grunts would be very useful. Yeah, it would be. Because that seems to be the majority of the damage that I'm taking. If I can kill enemy grunts, like, immediately, that eliminates a good half of the damage I take. If not a third. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Especially since I'm not relying as much on grunts, you know, being additional parts of my army anymore. Uh, back in the first game, you could actually rely on them to actually do some damage against captains. Now, they're just, they're literally grunts. <laughs> they do almost nothing. So you have to really rely on captains to do your damage. And that's actually, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. It's good balance-wise. All right, so we did the Karnan quest here, and uh, do you guess uh, Talgaroth is kind of fucked off? Off he fucked away from here into some place. We'll find out where eventually. Um, frozen flame, huh? I, uh, what the hell? I'm trying to fucking figure out the fucking region map thing. There we go. Frozen Flame. He came over here, it looks like. Yeah. Targaroth rampages through Mordor, bringing destruction to all who encounter it. Send this Balrog back to the depths. If we can. That'd be nice. So, Saragost. I guess that's our next place we go to. Maybe. I can't capture the fortress yet. I do know a good portion of the, uh, of these people, these Uruks here. I think I, yeah, I think I killed a few. Just, uh, unavoidably. I think a couple of them died on their own, honestly, if I remember right. <laughs> Just on visits that I came here and then they died and then... Huh. Not sure what these two are doing. But yeah, I... <sighs> I remember... A couple of these died on their own in uh, Karagor and Grog attacks while I was busy doing stuff to earn uh, the gold coins. And, uh, oh yeah, speaking of which, I have enough to buy another uh, legendary box. <laughs> I earned the last bit of that today. Alright, so, I could do that. Yeah, might as well. Show off what I get in the process. What the? Mystic Mithril chest. What? Four legendary mystic tribe followers. Hmm. That's a thing. I don't have enough for it. I don't think I will by the time this fucking sale ends, but that's a thing. All right. Uh, we'll purchase that. And we'll see what we get. Since all of them will be legendary. And an XP bonus. Gotta love those. Alright. We got the Threshing Sword for Legendary Machine. Alright. Recruit an orc from the Machine Tribe. Each delave attack creates an explosion. That sounds fun. <laughs> I like my current setup, but that sounds like it would be fun. <laughs> Alright. A uh, Rune of Horrors. Oh, I hadn't gotten any terror stuff yet. That's right, I forgot about that. 
Uh, recruit an orc from the Terror Tribe. Uh, consume attacks and make enemy heads explode. <laughs> I, they do already, but I mean... Causing more to flee is always fun. Alright. Allied Uruks take 50% less damage. Quick throw instantly kills fleeing grunts. Hmm. That'd be nice. Alright. What do we got armor-wise? Threshing armor. I already have one of these. Defeated enemies have a 24% chance of exploding. 24% that critical attacks apply poison. Hmm. I think that's better than the one I currently have. And another threshing armor. <laughs> that's just not fair. Y'all gave me repeats. That's bullshit. Okay. <sighs> Still, that's inevitable when you have as many legendaries as I do. Alright, well, that's a boost that I have out of the three that I do have. Um, as well look at my items show off my bullshit. Uh, this actually looks, the design looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. Um, I do like the aesthetic of the Sword of Vengeance, but at the same time, I can appreciate the designs of some of these swords. They actually do look pretty good. I like how the sword for the Bright Lord set and the Legendary Slaughter set are essentially identical. <laughs> that's, that's goofy to me. Alright, now let's look at the armor that I took, huh? Because this is the one I have. It already has a chance for poison. These... This is really the only benefit for this is that it's stronger than this. And that's it. That's goofy. Okay, well, I'll destroy this, because I don't need the curse. Destroy this, because I have something stronger. And we'll call that good. And the terror one. Rune of Horrors. Uh, hmm. Allied Uruks take 50% less damage. That would be nice. But, honestly, that's more geared on letting my, uh, my orcs, my Uruks, Take the brunt of the damage making and damage taking. And I don't know about that, honestly. I'll just have to see more of the uh, terror set before I make any decisions on that. The way I'm sitting right now, I am appreciating the Vendetta set enough that I should be fine. Uh, that said... I'm always willing to try new things. And terror does look interesting. If I was going to replace anything in my setup, it would probably be the ring and bow. And then I can get the dark set for sword and dagger once I eventually get a fucking dark sword. <laughs> I still haven't gotten one recently. And that's bugging the hell out of me. But... That's a thing. That is a thing we can do. Right now. Alright. Just gonna go through the equipment that I got. Osrans the Demolisher gave me that threshing armor, even though I never met him. Threshing sword. And the rest are destroyed. Okay, cool. Alright. Well... We got a couple things we can do here. In our neck of the woods. Let's see how our army is shaping up. We got a couple guys that are. Oh. Ooh. Rug the Slippery, huh? You're new. A Dark Destroyer. Immune to curse, beast proof, enraged by executions. I'll have to see how your weaknesses are, but you seem interesting. Hmm. 
whatever it is. Oh, there's... Oh, jeez, that's not gonna... Actually, yeah, it is. So once we, uh, get around those guys. Up we go. Oh, really? He disappeared? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, you ended up down here. <laughs> now you're mine. <laughs> okay. So let's see this new guy, shall we? Rug the Slippery. Really? Just a fear of burning? Huh. That is... Im that's impressive. You have all those strengths and only fear of burning. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, I'll head over here. Oh, Scoth Dwarf? When the fuck did half of these people come up? I don't recognize these people. Alright. Shag the Duelist and Azteru Flesh Lover. Well, that'll be fun to watch. <laughs> Eventually. Let's go over to this guy, huh? If he's going to be sitting right over here. Drink my coffee. While I wait. I didn't expect that horn. <laughs> At all. Scoff. Alright, so immune to execution, beast proof, last stand. He gets pissed off if it's just me. Okay, that's fair. Ah, uh, gang of archers. Alright, well. Where is a guy I can get info out of? Ooh. Right over here. Shit. Okay, you know what? Let's go over here. There we are. Fuck it. Really? There we go. That's what I wanted. Son of a bitch. Alright, whoop. Okay. I just wanted this. <laughs> well, that was quicker than I expected. Alright. That's Duke Sawbones. That's a different guy. There he is. Vulnerable to stealth, fear of more guy flies, and grogs. That's it? Vulnerable to stealth, and fear of more guy flies, and grogs. Huh? huh. Alright. Oh, jeez, you shit. You shit bird. Fuck you. Oh, that was impressive. Oh, man. I want to keep doing this. Oh, man. That's actually great. <laughs> oh, man. Really, the only thing I have to deal with is the fucking... Oh, the only thing I have to deal with is the defenders. He's not here to talk. Oh, hi there. He's here to tear you apart. Is he? You know, I'm here to spit on your remains. Well, I mean, that's if you live long enough. All right, so he has a fear of more guy flies and a fear of grabs. Okay. <laughs> You're gone. Hi there. Well, I told you you weren't going to live long. What did I say? There we go. Whoop. Oh, geez. Let's run away from that. Alright, there's a Morgan flies that I'm looking for. Alright. Fuck you. Okay. Let's keep just beating your ass, huh? There we go. We're actually doing some good fucking work on him. Damn. And... Keep beating him around. Okay, he's not dazed anymore. Alright, um... That, what, what was that noise? Huh. So... No more... Of that, I guess. That's annoying. Oh, hi there. Alright, well, you're just setting up traps for me to not be able to use. Oh, there's one. Okay. I only just noticed it now. Okay. So. Alright, and there's that gone. Take that down. 
And here's hoping this counts. He is swarmed. And really? All right, you know what, Monolith? This is a typical problem I have when I'm following your fucking things. Every other time. Every other time. I can follow it to the fucking letter. He's dazed. He's killed. He, I'm supposed to be killing dazed captains. And yet it doesn't go through. I have this problem with almost every other one you put out. Sometimes it'll take two hours before it'll start registering things that I'm following the rules on. Always. It is the most aggravatingly stupid fucking thing. <sighs> anyway. I did that. Killed him. And all I get is a stupid fucking cloak. <sighs> because it doesn't fucking count for the culling the weak thing. For whatever reason... Alright, well, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Now that I've done the quest thing that's important here, shown off problems with the game, shown off problems with, you know, other things, and uh, shown off my uh, stuff that I've been buying through coins that I earn because... Sometimes the quests work and sometimes they don't. And that was an example of quests that don't work. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games, almost fucking up my outro. And taking on a big ass balrog with the big leafy grog and finding bugs left and right in this game because there are a ton of them look at that shadow texture fucking up in the corner there look at that while i'm doing this outro for you